Hello and welcome back to the channel for another GT Sport episode. We're at Spa Francorchamps for race C. Um, and it's raining. I've not had much experience in the rain. Uh, See, so we qualified 13. Um, probably could have done a little bit better, but still learning conditions and uh, the, the best racing line in the wet. Uh, as things get underway, it looks like the beat just up ahead has... Um, taken to the escape road which I think we'll see quite a lot of today so we go really deep on the brakes narrowly avoiding the car just ahead of us we now take to the escape road uh, and lose position in the process of that not the best start but it could have been a lot worse if you think about it a rouge for the first time keeping it steady Trying to get the best exit through Radion down the camel straight. First time through Kumar. Fast forward, did the first lap a little bit. We're right over the back of this uh, VW ahead of us. Looking for an avenue up the inside potentially. We're a bit too far back. Probably not the best time to be making a move. But up ahead, it looks like the beetle's gone off again. Can we nip up the inside into the first part of Stabilo? No, we can't. Got to file back into formation. Now on the approach to the bus stop chicane. Look towards the inside, but it looks like they've got it covered, so we have to squeeze around the outside. It's quite tight around here. Trying to keep it clean. And yes, we can. We're up a position. This is a nice move. Stavlo 2, we've hit the kerb and that's spun us around. You really need to avoid the kerbs in the wet. It was a really strange one when it happened because I was thinking, why am I spinning at this point? And then, honestly, on the replay, you can see you yeah, touching the kerbs and that's the reason why. But it was a very strange one, this race, because um, the track looks like it's drying or not too wet. You can't see too many puddles, so... I'm in an R and whether to go on to the intermediate tyres, but seeing the beat at the start of the race all over the place, I thought, you know, it's probably best to stay on the wet tyre um, and play around with the the fuel mixtures just to try and get us to the end of the race. Um, as you can see here, a number of cars have decided to jump into the pits, lap 5, um, which has promoted us up to 11th place. If you're enjoying the content and you, you want to see some more and you're really enjoying GT Sport then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Um, it helps me out a lot as well so greatly appreciated. Okay so we're on to lap 6, breaking for the uh, chicane in the Kemmel Strait. Looks like someone's gone off on the radar behind us. They didn't collect us, they seem to cut the corner though. Yep, they do pick up a 2.5 second penalty. So if we can stay with them, especially through the penalty zone later on into the next lap, uh, we might have an opportunity to overtake. But it seems they're very slow through the right hand up. So we get up the inside, which becomes the outside. We get a little nudge from them into no name corner, which I think does have a name in. We have an another opportunity later on in the lap. We Late on the brakes, get up the inside, but we get a large tap from behind, which sends us round half a turn, and looks like the Citroen's back up into ninth place. Massively frustrating. So we managed to make a little bit of a mistake coming through the fast left hander towards the end of the lap, conceding a position. But can we get that back? Looks like we tried to go down the inside, but make an absolute dog's meal of that straight into the back of the Porsche at 
did apologise after the race. It wasn't intentional. We should even try to slow down here just in case they cut in front of us. But I think they got reset behind uh, and the beetle gets a better run. Out the final corner. So have a look at that again. We run out wide. Tried to go to the inside, just make contact, very little bit of contact on the back of the car. And next thing you know, um, we're losing the position to the the beetle. On to the final lap, we've served our penalty now. Very close to the back of the beetle. Go, try to go to the inside, but obviously they're going to cover it off there. It is the last lap of the race, so. A little bit of desperation begins to creep in. Try and keep it clean with no contact though. The Beatles run in a very, very defensive line there. But doing a very good job of it. All we can really do at the moment is follow. Into the final two corners of the lap. We break really late, manage to get it slowed down. The Beatles not had the best run through the final corner but we've had to wait to get on the power and that's going to be our 10th place finish for us. Could have been better. Okay so on to the second race of the episode. This is a uh, race B in Brands Hatch. Um, the McGann Trophy car is the car to go with here, and that's exactly what we've done for the best possible result. Um, already made up one position off the start, I think someone disconnected or something. And that's another car off in the distance there. We're getting really close to the Porsche in front, I think that was the only different car in this lobby. So a great job to them to qualify that high up. Looks like someone else is off ahead of us. That's going to give us a position up in the P7. We haven't done a huge amount this race, but we are going up the order. Have a nice run through Paddock Hill Bend. Go to the inside of the Porsche. Heavy braking. And we're in front. That's an overtake for sixth place. Now, race B is always a short sprint race, so moving from uh, the endurance to this is a definitely a, def a different change of pace. But there's a lot kicking off in front of us. One car ghosting in the middle, you never know when, when they're going to come out of ghost, so best to avoid them. But we are up into fifth place. Not a bad start considering um, our starting position for this race. As we look on the replay, I'm not sure what happens really in front, but everyone does a really good job to avoid and stay on a straight line. We get a good run on game of skills. As we look towards the inside, can we outbreak them into Paddock Hill Bend? Yes, we can. Get a little bit of a tank slapper on the rear end now. I think we clip the curb. We're vulnerable to the inside, but it looks like the car behind has a bailed out of it. And we're up into fourth place. Coming through the final last few corners. I think this is going to be a fourth place. Unless something happens between the two cars in front of us, which looks unlikely at this moment in time. Um, but considering our starting position to finish in fourth, a really good result. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, on to the uh, third and final race of this episode. We've qualified third. Um, we managed to improve our time from the previous qualifying session. And hoping for a minimum, a podium this race. So we go towards the outside of the two Pagans in front of us. They are jostling for position. Um, the Spaniard looks fairly aggressive this race. Um, leaves a little bit of his paint on the doors and rear wheel of the Italian. We look up the inside but uh, overtakes really not on the cards there. And we fall back into position. Now towards the end of the first lap, the Italian's got a nice run up the inside, a little bit of contact with the Spaniard. We try and follow through, the Spaniard's not too happy with that. Give us a couple of hits, one more for luck. But we are up into second place. Late on the brakes from the guy behind. A um, little bit of contact there, which um, was a little bit uncomfortable. But I just presumed um, we were in the way, really. did get a nice run up the inside of the hairpin but I'm not sure what happened maybe caught too much of the inside curve and then wrecked the blue cars race there so we were lucky to avoid all of that on to the penultimate lap this race we have a nice gap to the car behind really following the Italian I think he was too quick for us uh, they were definitely too quick for us um, but a little bit further on that lap there was a bit of action just behind between uh, the BMW and the Scirocco slightest of contact there was a bit of um, possibility in the chat after um, looks like a racing incident to me though to be honest and as we come through the last few corners on the last lap it looks like it's going to be a second place which I cannot argue with unfortunately we have gone off the track there and lost it a little bit but I think we should still hang on for the second place which will round off this episode really well so up next is the livery time and the weekly livery and I'll leave you with some action from the midweek lobby sessions thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time